it's threaded all the way to the squiggly thing that's in the back. This is not a magic trick. You can do it too. Let me show you. This machine right here is totally awesome. The only thing remotely wrong with it, if you want to say wrong with it, the automatic threader is fiddly. No one knows where to put their fingers, which way to cross over, and where to even put the thread. <laughs> That's what I'm finding out anyways. The automatic threading hack that I'm going to share with you, I can nail at least 99.9999% of the time. And if your percentage is not that good, you definitely need this hack. All it is, is a sequence of movements. That's it. Let me know in the comments if you were able to succeed using the automatic threader with my hack. Enough talking already. Let's see this hack. The first thing in the sequence is to, of course, make sure that your needle is down, then back up again. That will ensure that the needle is in the right position to be threaded. Your machine is all threaded. You have the thread back here in the squiggly thing. You're going to take your left index finger. While holding the thread with your right fingers, you're going to put that thread behind the left index finger come up and around, looping your finger within that thread. This shouldn't be tight though. See how that goes in and out like that? It should be a nice loose hold. Next, pinch that together with your thumb. It's a loose hold while you're pinching and with that loop around your finger. You will see when I go to press this lever right here, which engages the needle, my thread will move. Now lift your middle finger. Still while holding this right here, you, you have your thread pinched. Take your middle finger and sort of give that thread just a little shove back. You can actually feel with your finger sort of right here on the side of your finger where it needs to catch. Once you have it right on the end of that little uh, lever in the back, just keep it level and then pull it this way where it engages within that little white piece. And then you're going to simply let go of it. 99.999999% of the time. <laughs> Let's see it again. Hold the thread with your right hand. Lay your left index finger right on it. Come up with the thread looping around that left index finger. Remember, Barely any tension, just enough to hold it onto the finger. Pinch it. You can even come and set your fingers down toward the corner of this plate right here while you're waiting to press that button until you learn it smoothly. Now when we go to press the lever to engage the mechanism, again, you're going to see the thread move. Keep it loose and keep your fingers right there. Now lift up your middle finger on the left hand, center it right on that thread. You can sort of just roll your wrist a little bit so that you're pushing it back. And remember right there on the side of your finger, you can feel where that is. I mean, every time you can feel it, come behind it and then just come over to the right into that slot sort of release the tension at this point from where you were pinching and then let go every time. Let me show you again now and I'm gonna do it as I normally would without teaching so you can see how smooth it really is. Bingo. <laughs> I love it. Want more hacks like that? Take a look at your screen right now. Oh boy, do I have some sewing and quilting hacks for you.
Click one of these links that's around you right now so we can keep learning together. Until next time on the Sewing Channel, take care.